In this tutorial, we are going to solve an implicit differentiation problem where we have a function of x and y which have been multiplied together. In these cases, we would use the product rule to help us to find dy by dx. We've seen many students make mistakes in this area, but the point of this tutorial is to get you into the habit of writing down and using the product rule formula, which you'll find will make your life much, much easier when differentiating for these particular types of problems. So here we have an example where we're asked to find dy by dx for the equation minus 3x plus 2y is equal to 2x squared y cubed. Now there are a few ways that we can tell that this is an implicit equation. One way is if we subtract 2x squared y cubed from both sides of the equation, we simply get a function of x and y that's equal to zero. An even easier way is just by noticing that this is an equation which has x and y terms where y is not the subject of the equation. So as this is an implicit equation, let's find dy by dx by using implicit differentiation methods. Now when using this method, it's always good practice to tell the reader or to even remind yourself that you will be differentiating each term in the equation with respect to x. So taking the first term minus 3x and differentiating this with respect to x, we get minus 3. Differentiating 2y with respect to x, well, this gives us 2. However, because this is a y term, we know we need to multiply this 2 by dy by dx. And now we need to differentiate the right-hand side of the equation with respect to x. However, as we determined earlier, this is a product of x and y terms. And therefore, we actually need to use a combination of the product rule and implicit differentiation methods to find the derivative of the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and do this by first of all writing out our formula for the product rule, which tells us that the derivative of product of functions u and v with respect to x is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So let's first let u be equal to 2x squared and v be equal to y cubed. Therefore, we know that du by dx is equal to 4x if we just differentiate this term with respect to x. And if we differentiate this term y cubed with respect to x, we get that dv over dx is equal to 3y squared. However, as this is a y term, we need to multiply this by dy by dx, which is where the implicit differentiation comes in. So now we have each component of the formula. Let's simply substitute them back into this formula to find out the derivative. So therefore, the derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u, which we said was equal to 2x squared, multiplied by dv over dx, which is equal to 3y squared dy by dx. And we mustn't forget this dy by dx. So let's just write the product of those two terms and plus v, which we said was equal to y cubed, multiplied by du by dx, which we found was equal to 4x. We can expand these brackets to get the following. 6x squared y squared dy by dx plus 4x y cubed. So now we found the derivative of the right-hand side of this equation. Let's simply just write this expression here as the derivative of this term. Now we're almost there. We simply need to make dy by dx the subject of this equation. We can start by subtracting this term from both sides of the equation and adding three to both sides of the equation, which gives us the following. Two dy by dx minus six x squared y squared dy by dx is equal to four x y cubed plus three. On the left hand side, we have dy by dx in both terms and therefore we can factorize to get dy by dx multiplied by two minus six x squared y squared is equal to four x y cubed plus three. And to find dy by dx, all we need to do is 
divide both sides of the equation by 2 minus 6x squared y squared to get that dy by dx is equal to 4x y cubed plus 3 over 2 minus 6x squared y squared. So hopefully that helps you to see that writing the formula and using it will help you avoid making mistakes in these kind of problems. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.